and welcome to another edition of Bald's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. You want to know why it doesn't bother me that I'm bald? You want to know why it doesn't matter that I'm bald? Because many superstars, many athletes, many comedians, many celebrities have been bald and were able to make a name for themselves. Were able to go out there and show what they could prove and prove what they could show. They were champions. They were a Hall of Famers. They were the elites. You're talking Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Bill Goldberg, Hulk Hogan, and just to name a few. Just to name a few. So I'll be bald all day long. Hell, even Randy Orton shaves his head and is bald. But you know what? You want to go organically bald? You're going to be going bald all night long here on Sean's View Entertainment here with explosive backstage details as it concerns WWE facing some major problems, a lot of worry backstage as it concerns the raw rating that came in last night. Some walking on eggshells backstage. Apparently, the raw rating that was revealed last night was a hot topic backstage in WWE and for all the wrong reasons. Following the disappointing Raw ratings from this week and the fact that WWE Raw reached its lowest average viewing audience of the year, this has led to a lot of worry backstage. It's believed that some people are walking on eggshells, even those on the creative team. It was a shot at WWE in a sense because the company believed they put forth a solid Raw. As did I. I felt very intrigued. I was very compelled by Monday Night Raw. I felt it was a solid show from top to to bottom, but that's just my view on things. I, I felt it was one of the raws, one of the best raws of the year up to this point. But the numbers did not signify that. The numbers that came in was seen as a major problem and was a cause for concern for a variety of reasons. Because if this is the kind of numbers they pull in for a strong show, imagine what is going to happen when WWE does not put forth a solid show or when WWE starts having competition on Monday nights down the line, which they will with Monday Night Football again. One source was heard saying, uh, coming out of Raw, the company simply has no steam right now. The feeling is while many fans would be quick to judge and blame the WWE's problems and mistakes on the creative team and superstar pushes, etc. It's more involved than that. And the WWE is going to have to make a lot of adjustments. And you know, here's the thing though. The WWE did put forth a solid show. The majority of fans in the WWE Universe and even here in the ah, WC, YWC, they loved Raw. They re-watched Raw. They came out here and they reviewed Monday Night Raw. And that goes to show you that as solid as it was and as strong as it was, the ratings were actually better last week when it was a piss poor show. So that just goes to show you that the WWE's inconsistencies continue. That trend continues. And you know, as much as Raw was strong, who would ever anticipated that Dean Ambrose was going to be the main, uh, you know, the main part of the show, or he was going to be put into the fatal four-way match at Payback? You know, yeah, they built that. They built that up in one night. They should have built this up over the last several weeks. But that's where the WWE fails to come through. They can't just have one good show and expect the ratings to just skyrocket. It's going to take more than one good show to maintain good ratings. And yes, it, this is a cause for concern. This is a cause for worry in the WWE. And yes, a lot of people like myself, and you included, some of you, will be, will be quick to come on here and say, well, the creative team are lazy. They don't come up with anything creative. You know, if you're going to be on the creative team and actually... Uh, you, you actually have to think. You actually have to think outside the box. You actually have to think of ideas that would draw people's attention. And uh, once again, I guess it is much more involved than just the creative team. There's a lot of other variables that go into it. There's no doubt about it. So what I'm looking forward to right now is your comments and your opinions. And please like this video, subscribe, and share it all over the entire internet where Sean V. Damon will always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Subscribe.